Hey there, Gary Hoover here from Austin, Texas. I'm coming to New York City to give a talk that I think is going to be really interesting. I'm going to speak at the Blog World and New Media Expo that's being held at the Big Javits Convention Center in the first week of June. I'll be speaking Tuesday, June 5th at 5 p.m. Um, one of the things in my lifetime of studying business, I started subscribing to Fortune Magazine when I was 12 years old. I've started four startups, including um, the first book superstore chain. It was called Bookstop. Uh, Barnes & Noble bought it, and it was their entry into the big bookstore business. I started a company that became Hoover's, Hoover's.com, a business information website. So I've been fascinated with business and industry all these years. And one of the most exciting industries is the media industry. If you measure companies based on how much they get in total advertising revenue, the biggest media company in the world last year was Google, with something like $36 billion in revenue from advertising. And we always put that word new up there, the new media, and there's no question it is new. But when we do that, sometimes we forget we might be able to learn something from the past. In my studies of all kinds of industries, the auto industry, retailing, airlines, uh, computers, I always find there's a lot to be learned from the past that we have this tendency to think oh the slate's been wiped clean everything is brand new none of the old rules apply and yet when I go back and study the great visionary leaders of the past the people who first created industries like autos and media wonderful things that we can learn from them and yet as I go around speaking and teaching all over the world I find that very very few people have heard of these great leaders so on Tuesday afternoon at 5 p.m at the blog world I'm going to talk about makers of the modern media. I've picked two individuals who I think were two of the greatest visionaries and entrepreneurial leaders in American history, and they really gave us the modern media that most of us grew up with and still plays a big role in our lives. I'll wait and let you come to the, the talk. It's not just a talk. It's a very visual experience. I'll be using slides, uh, but not full of uh, data and words and numbers, so much as images to show how did media come about and who were the key players in media and all that. And, uh, and I'm really focused on the period from like the 1920s through the 1980s in terms of where were the seeds really planted that led to the media we have today. It's going to be a fun talk. It's going to go by in a heartbeat. Hopefully some of you will stick around and discuss it with me afterwards. I can go on all night, as my friends know, talking about ideas like this and trying to learn some lessons in the past that will help us better navigate the exciting future we face, but a future that can be very confusing if you don't have any good tiller to help you steer. And nothing will give you a sense of direction like knowing where you came from. You can't know where you're going if you don't know where you came from. So we're going to talk about that with the media Tuesday afternoon. I hope to see you there at the Javits Center. See you later.